You're listening to Bunkerzilla. Bunkerzilla UK radio station is an online geek culture online radio station. Uh, it covers topics such as films, television, anime, tabletop gaming, uh, computer games, comics. It's a very, very broad spectrum. So what influenced you to start Bunkerzilla? We created Bunkerzilla to be a platform for people to share their fandoms, to share their sort of monstrous passions of, of these various forms. And uh, yeah, that, that's, that's how Bunkerzilla really came to be, really. So what would you say is the hardest thing about setting everything up? Well, coming up with the name first was a bit hard because um, um, you kind of think, well, well we, you kind of you didn't really want to go into sort of generic names like Geek Radio or something like that because a lot of a lot of the podcast networks, especially in the UK, have that sort of geek in there. So I was sort of playing around with different names. I even went with uh, a nickname that I got from doing my doing movie podcasts with Cinematic Dramatic, which was John Regine, because I'm a tall man, I'm six foot four, and I watch all sorts of films. However, I discovered that um, there is a, a US rapper called John Regine. So I kind of thought, well, this, if, if we kind of get more, if we get noticed or get more exposure, it might not be the best thing to call. So um, I was kind of playing around with different names. I was kind of looking at different types of Japanese names as well. And I sort of stumbled upon discovering that the Japanese word for culture is bunker. So I kind of put two and two together, talking with some of the people involved in the station, like um, my colleague Christian, and uh, we came with the name of Bunkerzilla. So culture monsters in a sense. So we are monsters of culture. And that's where the whole sort of tagline of we are monsters of culture here as raw sort of really comes from. How would you say Radio.co has helped Bunkerzilla out with starting out? It's a very easy solution for for especially startup radio stations like Bunkerzilla because I was looking around at all different sort of forms of what you could do and then you've got things like setting up ice cast servers, shoutcast, all those sort of things and it was very, it, it came across as very complicated. Uh, whereas with Radio.co, it's, it's simple. You upload the audio you need to upload. If you're doing a lot of pre-recorded stuff, which Bunkerzilla, about 90% of the programming is pre-recorded. So we upload it, put it into playlists, schedule it, and it all runs off the Radio.co servers. And you don't have to worry about servers going down on your end or if something's going wrong. The nice thing is it's, it's a cloud solution and it just makes things a lot streamlined and a lot more easier to operate. So would you say that Radio.co is helpful for new startup stations? I think a platform like Radio.co is great for, for startup radio stations, especially ones that don't necessarily have a lot of, of knowledge behind it. Because um, I'll be perfectly honest, I, I knew very little about doing radio broadcasting up until starting Bunkerzilla. So, and uh, a lot of things from from launching Bunkerzilla, such as getting the right microphone setups, the mixers, using programs such as Radio Boss, uh, a lot of that um, I, I sort of researched and kind of self-learned, and mostly through the help box on the Radio Co website. What are some of the features that you have found particularly useful in running Bunkerzilla? Yeah, Song Request is a good one. Uh, it's quite nice to sort of create or um, sort of tailor a jukebox of songs to our listeners. Another feature that we've been sort of playing around with, I think in its beta uh, version at the moment, is the talk show feature, which we do a lot of sort of group shows. And I know and from experience, recording things over Skype is one of the most frustrating things I'll ever do. Uh, one thing that I have been really impressed with the talk show feature is being able to give people a link so they don't need to worry about getting Skype, they don't need to worry about sort of having all these various connections all set up. As long as they've got a microphone and a pair of headphones which they can hear or something like that, they're able to log in via the unique link to the host and yeah, you can have, you basically have your own little talk show from all over the place. So um, we did uh, the Emicon 2018 preview recently and that was all built with the talk show. So we recorded it in chunks and then we downloaded it in separate parts. Um, so I was based in Reading. Um, Chloe, who's the registration officer here, I believe is based in the Southwest. Uh, Nathan, I believe is based up in Manchester area. I might be wrong there. And uh, again, David is based around the sort of Cambridge, London sort of area. So it just makes things a lot easier to, to sort of plan and uh, record together and create more content together. Well, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what Bunkerzilla is all about? Bunkerzilla is, is, is still growing. It's still, it's still in its infancy. Um, so while we're we're getting listeners, it's obviously we're we're keeping feet firmly on the ground. We're not sort of expecting to sort of skyrocket to a hundred thousand listeners 
every month because that's just being very arrogant. If they want to become a monster of culture and want to join Bunkerzilla, they can do it at bunkerzilla.co.uk. Uh, you can listen to it online through the website there or you can download the iOS and Android apps which have been made with Radio.co as well. We've got a great range of shows as well. We've got shows like Redhead's Ramblings where we have uh, one of our contributors, Lizzie Barnes. She takes a topic from a fandom and she goes off on a ramble. We've also got a passion project with Nathan Blades which is a really great interview show um, talking with L LBGT uh, artists and creators. It's a really nice show. It's a really nice laid back interview show. Uh, we've also got shows like uh, Board Games with Bears, Zoe's Tea Time. Sounds like a great mix of shows. Uh, can anybody get involved? Yeah, it's a great mix of shows. I'm always on the lookout for new shows. So um, we will be launching a, a Join Bunkerzilla soon on the website, so after the events. And if people are interested about Bunkerzilla, they want to take part either as a showrunner or a show producer, or even if they want to contribute to the blog, they can do. Or alternatively, if they just want to support the run of the station, there is uh, support with uh, Kofi. Uh, so you can donate like 79 pence, simple uh, price of an iTunes track. Or if you want to be trendy, <laughs> you can wear a Bunkerzilla t-shirt and we've got those available as well. The web address is bunkerzilla.co.uk and you can also follow us on social media on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram with Bunkerzilla UK.